What's up guys, welcome to another video. So today's video will be regarding a comparison between the iPhone 12 Pro Max with the iPhone 11 Pro Max specifications. So starting from the design of both the devices, you will obviously notice right away when you look at both the devices. And the iPhone 12 Pro Max is coming with a flat display with a boxier design just like we have seen in the iPhone 5S devices. And it's going to be a little bit taller than the uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max. The iPhone 11 Pro Max on the other hand is coming with a curved edges around the corner and it's going to be a preference of choices between both of these devices which device you prefer either you prefer a card edges or a flat display other details which are pretty much similar is going to be the front notch which is going to be pretty much similar in both the devices one of the difference which i notice on both the devices is going to be obviously the matte finish which is we going to be seen in the iPhone. Well, moving on towards the display, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is coming with a 6.7 inch of Super Retina HDR OLED display with a 87.4% of screen to body ratio. Basically, this screen to body ratio increasement is just been happened because of the flat display which we had seen in the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Other details include the ceramic shield protection on the front of the device that is going to be four times stronger than the last year iPhone 11 Pro Max because that 11 Pro Max was coming with a Gorilla Glass protection on the front side and the screen size is going to be 6.8 inches Super Retina HDR OLED display and its screen to body ratio is 83.7%. So moving on towards the camera sensor we are going to see the iPhone 12 Pro Max is coming with the 12 megapixel of a camera sensor, 12 megapixel of telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel of ultra wide camera. Alongside with that it is coming with a LiDAR scanner as well. The important difference between the camera sensor is that this time around the iPhone 12 Pro Max is coming with a bigger sensor in terms of iPhone 11 Pro Max and there is going to be an optical image stabilization inside the main camera sensor but this time around we will see a sensor shift of optical image stabilization which means that the whole sensor is going to stabilize your footage. The iPhone 11 Pro Max on the other hand is coming with a triple camera setup on the back side with a 12 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel of telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel of ultra wide camera. One of the difference with the iPhone 12 Pro Max and iPhone 11 Pro Max is going to be a night mode facility which is going to be available in all the camera sensor in terms of iPhone 12 Pro Max and it is going to be recording 4K videos recording up to 10 bit of HDR Dolby Vision inside your camera sensor. and. And one of the best things which I personally think is going to be happening inside the iPhone 12 Pro Max is obviously going to be the uh, editing of 10-bit HDR Dolby Vision on your device. This facility is not being available in the iPhone 11 Pro Max, although you can uh, get the night mode facility only on the back side of your device. Moving on towards the internals of the device, the A14 Bionic is going to be present inside the iPhone 12 Pro Max, whereas the iPhone 11 Pro Max is coming with an A13 Bionic chipset. There is going to be an improvement in the RAM management as well. We will see an iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is coming with a 6 gigs of internal RAM, whereas the iPhone 11 Pro Max is coming with a 4 gigs of RAM inside. One of the biggest difference between both the devices is obviously going to be a 5G support inside the iPhone 12 Pro Max and this facility is not being available in the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The battery capacity on both the devices is obviously going to be a meaningful difference in them. Uh, the 3687 is going to be the battery capacity of iPhone 12 Pro Max which is smaller than the a 3969 mAh in the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The charger inside the box is not available in the uh, iPhone 12 Pro Max. Instead, it is going to be supported by MagSafe which you can buy separately and it can charge your device up to 20 watt. Whereas the iPhone 11 Pro Max is coming with an 18 watt of fast charging support inside. Also, the models which are selling right now are not coming with any kind of charger if you purchase the device today. So lastly, it's going to be the prices of all the devices. Well, the base variant for iPhone 12 Pro Max is coming with an $1,100 price tag and currently the price tag for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, whereas the current price for iPhone 11 Pro Max is going to be $900. So overall, both the devices are pretty much impressive it depends upon your preference which one you like the most so that is it in this particular video let me know your thoughts what do you think about both the devices in the comment section below and if you are new here on the channel do consider subscribing it thanks for watching this video peace